Everything in the book is all about him. Amen. All about Jesus. Go up to verse 27 because I want you to know this without a doubt. Amen. Hallelujah. That we need to see Jesus differently. We need to see him. Hallelujah. In the multiplicity of his ministry toward us. Hallelujah. Every book in the Bible is telling us something about Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke's gospel chapter 24 verse 27. It says, and beginning at Moses. And all the prophets he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Jesus said everything in the book is about me. Every book is a book about me. And if you're going to have a right view, hallelujah, of the God that saved you, hallelujah, you got to see him as though through a kaleidoscope and see his many different ministries, his many different abilities, his many different facets, his many different angles, hallelujah, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the whole book is a book about Jesus. In Genesis, he's the Seed of the woman that will bruise the serpent's head. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's the high priest forever. Amen. Hallelujah. In Deuteronomy, he's the prophet like unto Moses and the lawgiver, the man with the plan. That's who Jesus is. Amen. In Joshua, he's the captain of the Lord's host. Hallelujah. The captain of the salvation army. Hallelujah. In Judges, he's the judge and deliverer hallelujah in Ruth he's the real, near kinsman redeemer and the Boaz man hallelujah people that are looking for a man you gotta first find the man Jesus Christ hallelujah and that's how you need to focus on hallelujah he is hallelujah that's who he is in the book of Ruth in the book of 1st and 2nd Samuel, he's the trusted prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. In 1st and 2nd Kings, he's our reigning king forever. In the book of Ezra, he's the faithful scribe. Hallelujah. In the book of Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of the walls of our broken down lives. Hallelujah. You got to see Jesus differently. Hallelujah. Look at him as though through a kaleidoscope so you can see every facet of his ministry toward you. Hallelujah. In Esther, Esther, he's the monarch who stretches forth his golden scepter given unto you acceptance. Hallelujah. And the Mordecai who's telling you you were born for such a time as this. Woo, hallelujah. And Job, he's the day spring from on high and our ever living redeemer whom we shall see. Amen. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalms, he's the Lord, our shepherd. In the book of Proverbs, hallelujah, he's our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the book of Ecclesiastes, he's the answer because the question was, what is the meaning of life? Everything seems like vanities, useless. He said in the end, the end of the thing, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's to love God. Hallelujah. And that's the reason that you were born. Jesus Christ is the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. In the book of Song of Solomon, he's the lover and the bridegroom. In Isaiah, he's the prince of peace. In Jeremiah, he's the righteous branch. In Lamentations, he's the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he's the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, he's the fourth man in the burning fiery furnace. Hallelujah, because when Nebuchadnezzar threw three men in the fire, bound, hallelujah, he looked in and said, I thought we threw three people in there bound. Hallelujah, but I see four folks in there loose, and one of them looks like the Son of God. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. You might feel like you're in a fire, but know that the fourth man is in the fire with you. Yes, hallelujah. In Hosea, he's the bridegroom married to the backslider. 
In Joel, he's the baptizer with the Holy Ghost and with fire. In Amos, he's the burden bearer. Obadiah, he's the mighty God that saves. In Jonah, he's the God of another chance. Do you mean the God of a second chance, preacher? No, I've been past the second chance a long time ago. He's the God of another chance and 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 another chance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Micah, he's the messenger with the beautiful feet. In Nahum, he's the avenger of God's elect. In Habakkuk, he's the mighty evangelist that is crying, revive thy works in the midst of thy years. In Zephaniah, he's the restorer. In Haggai, he's the cleansing fountain. In Zechariah, he's the merciful father. And in Malachi, hallelujah, he's the son of righteousness that rose with healing in his wings. Hallelujah. And the God that will open heaven for you and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive it. Hallelujah. He said, I'm God in the Moses books, in the prophets, and in the Psalms. But you know, he's God in the New Testament too. Amen. In Matthew, he's the king. In Mark, he's the servant. In Luke, he's the summer man. In John, he's the son of God. In Acts, he's the risen Lord working in and through people like me and you. Hallelujah. To do signs, wonders, and miracles. Hallelujah. In Romans, he's the justifier. In First and Second Corinthians, he's the just sanctifier. Amen. Hallelujah. In Ephesians, he's the God. Who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think. Hallelujah. So you got to think it and you got to ask it. Hallelujah. Because you see it in him. Hallelujah. He's the God who is able to do it. Hallelujah. How you see him determines how you perceive him and how you receive from him. Hallelujah. In Philippians, he's the God who supplies Every need, hallelujah, according to his riches and glory. In Colossians, he's the fullness of the Godhead bodily, hallelujah. In First and Second Thessalonians, in First and Second Thessalonians, hallelujah, he's the God who's going to crack the eastern sky and appear in the clouds, hallelujah. And the dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him, hallelujah. And there will ever be with the soon coming king. Hallelujah. In second and first and second Timothy. Hallelujah. He's the mediator between God and man. Because there's one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Jesus is the man. Woo. Hallelujah. In Titus he's the faithful pastor. In Philemon he's a brother Plan that sticks closer than a brother. Hallelujah. In Titus Philemon Hebrews. We just read it. He's the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. And he's the high priest. Who was able to make one sacrifice. One time for all time. And it was enough to suffice. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is enough. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. In the book of Hebrews, he said he's better than the angels, better than Moses, better than the priesthood, better than the law, better than the temple, better than anything you had, better thing than ever, anything you're ever going to have. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is better. Mm, hallelujah. In James, he's the great physician. In Peter, first and second Peter, he's the good shepherd, the great shepherd, the chief shepherd. Hallelujah. In Jew, no, John, first, second, and third John, he's the everlasting love that gives you love and happiness. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's the everlasting love. In Jude, he's the Lord who will come down with 10,000 of his saints. And in Revelation, he's the king of kings. 
and the Lord of Lords. That's how you have to see Jesus to receive from Jesus what he wants you to have. The way you see Jesus determines how you see you. You got to see him as though through a kaleidoscope and see as many different angles, many different facets, many different ministries, many different abilities, even many different personalities. He was Adam's walk in the cool of the day. He was Abel's sacrifice. Hallelujah. He was Noah's ark. He was Aaron's rod. He was Joshua's victory. He was Moses's strength. He was Shamgar's ox gold. He was David's rock in the slingshot. Hallelujah. All these things are telling us something about how we should see Jesus. And the way I see Jesus determines how I see me. Pastor Jerry and Shavella Gatson welcome you to attend worship services at the Ornament of Grace Christian Center, 121 Express Drive, Sweet C, Lansing, Kansas. Join us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. My Bible says, hallelujah, he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. For more information, call 913-240-6262. The Ornament of Grace Christian Center, where God's grace is sufficient for you.